Hello and welcome back to Unreal. We are in the Scar Generator and that is actually very close to the end of the game. However, what is going to come up very soon is something I don't particularly like. But before that, we have a few cinematics to forward to. So, uh, the first time around when I went to this place, it really puzzled me, actually. Also, it's a good thing that uh, right now there are no PSP holes. I remember the first time there being a whole lot of them. I'm not sure why there aren't any now, but oh well. <laughs> it's a good thing, I guess. So, uh, we are now inside the Scar Generator, it's a power source, and let's cause a uh, power outage! And... Aha! Take that, Scar! Illumination by Enox. Enox. And that happened. Yep, we blew up the car completely. Also, if you didn't move out of the way, you would be exploded. <laughs> yeah, uh, this effect is really nice. I don't remember how they did it. It's probably a mesh of some kind. Yeah, pretty much the same way that they did it in Unreal Tournament, I think. Yeah, that's a very nice effect. <laughs> the transition was pretty cheap, but hey, uh, this game was made in 1998, so that is that. Okay, so the illumination is an extremely s uh, small map, and it's pretty much this cutscene. So let's move on to another place. Um, so let me select my searchlight. Uh, where was the other door? Oh, there it is. Duh. <laughs> yeah. So let's go through this door. Also, it's very dark. And now we are in the darkening. Like an ox again. Okay, that's not very productive to fight uh, Pupai with uh, Black Cannon. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have disabled uh, their energy generator, uh, we get access to all of those places which were earlier blocked by force fields. Here's this. Let's not take another one because I don't particularly need it. And the problem here is that I totally don't remember where to go. <laughs> yeah. Something over here. Oh, a new shield belt, but I don't need it. Ah, uh, so yeah. Whoa. That's the problem. This. Oh. Oh, so that's where we are. We're. We're in this place. Oh. Yeah, so these guys have the problem now. Um, genetically engineered Scar. Uh, 
now they're loose on this mothership. And yeah, as you can see, uh, our searchlight does not drain at all. <laughs> it does drain very slowly, but it's like not an issue. And none of the technology works. All the doors are kind of open and that way. So... And this is kind of a waste of my black ammo, but oh well. Yeah, like I said, I have no recollection about where the heck I'm supposed to go. Oh, I one-shot that guy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the mercenaries are now also free because... What are you doing here? That's other guy. There he is. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this is open. <laughs> what the? Oh. Uh. You keep doing a good job. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, the scar apparently don't like their own. Either don't like their own creations that are now loose, which is understandable. Well, yeah, actually, uh, that one genetically engineered scar that we released earlier, he went ahead and killed another scar. What the? Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, what was that? Oh, whatever. Uh, so yeah, the Scar are fighting the genetically engineered Scar because they are kind of... Uh, not very friendly. What the? Really, they have even... Those guys. Cringe yet. Uh, Scar Troopers? Yeah. I believe they have more health and things. Hmm. Whoa! Huh. Yeah, so there are lots of things to be had here, none of which we actually really need, so, yeah. <laughs> I still don't remember where I'm supposed to be going. Uh, I... Oh, come on, that's just not very nice. There's still a chance of things. Oh, hi there! <laughs> I was looking at the ground, hey, there's a shadow there, where does it come from? And it's apparently there. Mm -hmm. I think I want to get up there. Again, I don't remember at all. And yeah. So, the darkening. Very creepy. And kind of uh, an interesting uh, idea, actually. What? I just went to a circle. Oops. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it's an interesting idea to see how things have changed. And it. I don't know. What? what? Oh. Right, I want to go there. Okay. Uh, it inspired a game type called... Um, Dark Match. And I'm dead. Welp! 
<laughs> That's not good. But at least now I know where to go. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, like I said, it's an inspired dark match, and uh, uh, the only map that was included with this game uh, of the dark match game type was. Uh, how was it called? Uh, DK Knight. Night Hop. Uh, and it is Scar themed. In fact, it's the only Scar themed level in the multiplayer map array. So, yeah. And interestingly enough, in Unreal Tournament 3, uh, they included uh, in the Titan map pack uh, DM Dark Match. Which apparently was inspired by Dark Match game type. In Unreal 1. Uh, so, that means that it indirectly inspired... What the... Oh, come on! That's just not fair. You're supposed to target the other Scar. Oh well. Yeah, so it indirectly inspired the Dark Match uh, map in Real Tournament 3, which in turn made Dark Match quite popular in Real Tournament 3. There are some mods there that deal with the special Dark Match attributes in that game. So that's interesting. place works, probably magnetically or something, because the power is oh! That's an ice car, you're an ice car, you're an ice car, very nice car, please go away. And yeah, that elevator still works, because otherwise you would not be able to go anywhere. I think that's just game mechanics. Come on. Okay, yeah, that works. Perhaps they're not here. Okay, what's written really here? The source and the chamber. Access denied! Hmm. Hmm. So this is, if you recall, uh, the uh, backup power supply. And let's see if we can restore that power. Auxiliary power supply. Um, hi. How's it going? Authorization granted. Activate the emergency power supply. 
Will do, sir. Will do. So let's go here and activate it. Access to the source antechamber. Uh, yeah, so let's see here. I have no idea how this actually works in terms of it being logical. Because, like, why would. Ah, source antechamber by Inox. Um. Yeah, like I said, why would it open the way to this place to disable the energy and then re-enable it again? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But yeah, the source sanity chamber. It is the end of this particular area. Still not going out of the mothership, but we're going to see something interesting inside it. Because we're heading for the source, and as you can remember, all panels everywhere said that you need to defend the source at all costs. At this point, there's it's still not obvious what the source is. And yeah. Uh, the illumination was a very short map that was made basically for uh, cinematic purposes. Well, this map is also kind of the same thing. It's very short and it's made for cinematic purposes. And now that we press that button, this opens. And we can go upstairs. Oh, yeah, I'll use my fire rifle. Anywhere, anywhere here, anywhere here. No, yes, no, maybe. Huh. There are things here. Things that I don't particularly need, but okay. Yes, the ammo. Excellent. And flag shells, also excellent. Okay, and here is the main purpose of this particular map. Well, enjoy. We The Source by Jeremy Warr. Huh, interesting. I thought that everything would be by the same Enox, but apparently not. Yeah, I have plenty of time still. Um Yeah, so that was the only time that you could see your weapon from all the sides. Uh, I, uh, that was debatable, uh, whether it was intentional or if they just forgot to disable uh, your weapon from being shown, like it is in, uh, the intro. But oh well, still makes for a very interesting visual effect. So this is the source, the source, the source, source. That's that's the source. It's 
something. It's very, very abstract. It's very, very dark. If you fall down there, you die from unknown causes. And I have no idea what this is kind of supposed to be. If you look at things, it's very... Uh, I'd say... Uh, Kriegen-like from uh, Might and Magic 6, mostly. Also from Might and Magic 7. They also had this very organic and inorganic theme going on. And in this place you get a lot of things. A lot of ammo. You get armor, you get weapons. You get everything you want, basically. Well, nearly everything. I'd like to have more flak ammo, though. And uh, what's nine? Oh, it's my sniper rifle. Uh, but doesn't seem to be like it will be the case. Okay, let's take our stinger once again. And actually, do take the sniper rifle and zoom in. Oh man, the Popeye are here. So let's. Oh, come on! There we go. Where is the guy? Wait, he just. He got shot down, but nothing happened. Okay. Actually, I think using my Dispersion Pistol would be the best thing. Yeah, it was. Yeah, why I don't mess. If you approach that place without making sure to destroy all of them, you can have a few problems. Yeah, there is a reason why all of those Popeye are there. Pretty good reason. And you will see why just after I go through uh, that hatch door. And I'm all out of dispersion. Yeah, that guy is down. And I think the others are not going to be a problem. Now they're all lost in the void. <laughs> Got all the tritium shards, and I still have eight minutes. So I will save here and see if I can find something inside the source. What is in this very ominous looking structure? Opens with an iris hatch. These are super jump boots. They will not wear off for a rather long time. And they are very essential in here. Because in this place, it's the source of all scar. What is the, the source? Why? It is. The Scar Queen! You want to get on that platform as soon as you can, because the queen can teleport, and will teleport around. will also erect a shield like that, and by missing it. Uh, that's the main thing when dealing with... Whoa, 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 you can't go here. That's not allowed. The 
Queen has a shield like the Scar has. But, one thing that the Queen does not have is a lot of health. Uh, the Snow Titan that you have seen earlier has a lot more health. And from what I can remember, the Queen does not um, have any particularly difficult to avoid attacks. Oh, use a Scar technology basically. Not very damaging. It's annoying how she teleports around. Dodging her shots is not very difficult. And there she goes. And this whole place is in collapse. Now you might hear quite a lot of noises there. There's a good reason for that. Because the Scar Mother, or uh, Scar Queen, spawns a lot of Pupai. And if you were standing down there, you would be in quite a bad situation because you would have to fight a lot of them at the same time. Every time she does that strange noise, it's because she spawns some of Pupai. And yeah, you want to avoid that. There are some extra things to be found here. But nothing too fancy. You can go here during the fight to power up, but it's kind of dangerous because the Scar Queen is always at those two places. So, yeah. And okay, what do I want to use to neutralize all the Pupai down there? Probably the Flat Cannon. Where are you? Where are you? I can hear you. I cannot see you particularly well. What's here? It's the void? I guess you get destroyed if you go there or something. What? I hear a Titan. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, I. No idea where all of them are. Are they down there or something? Yes, they are! Hi there, buddies! And yes, every time you destroy one, you hear that sound. Now, make sure not to destroy yourself. And that was just stupid. But hey, we got... Uh, we got a way to tell if it's lethal or not. Well, I have to redo this whole thing. But yeah, there's really nothing else to be had here. Just using the SMD is actually easier. Um, yeah, and that's nearly the end of the game because she is the last boss of this game. But you will see the last. last video next time, because there are a lot of including things the game still has to tell us, so, yeah. And stop using that shield the screen. Yeah, 
yeah, this boss is really more annoying than difficult. And there's no way that she could discover hurt you all that much. As long as you're up here and not down there where all the fly can reach you. This little, uh, kind of in style of the game, because it's very... Uh, the whole source place is very moody. And it's a very interesting environment. Please don't jump here, thank you. Seriously, uh, that hole down there, I have never seen it before, so it's obviously it's not supposed to be there. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of random. But okay. Here. And now I can dispose of all those. Five. The relative ease. And that sound that you hear every time you hit one is supposed to be from the queen, but since the queen is destroyed, well, that's what you get. Actually, that can cause that to be spawned. Yeah, I think that's what happens. They get spawned every time you kill one. It's kind of unfortunate. But regardless, uh, we'll deal with that later on. It's already a little bit late. So, I will see you... next time with the ending to this game. Um... Source, yes. <laughs> See you all then. Later.